Apple stock hit an all-time high of above 700 in September 2012, but then it quickly unraveled. Shares got below 400 by April of the next year. Well, guess what? You may not have noticed, but this stock has come roaring back. It's a little bit of an illusion because it's at a much lower price. Apple did a stock split recently that has brought the share price down dramatically. The new all-time high adjusted for that split is $100 and change. The stock is now at 99. So for everyone that thought, hey, Tim Cook, he's not the right guy to succeed Steve Jobs, that might not be the right argument anymore. Look at what Apple has done just this year. Rumors about an iPhone 6 and an iWatch have helped lift the stock in addition to the split. The other bit of thing that's pretty interesting is that Apple all of a sudden is now a company on a shopping spree with all that cash it has. It bought Beats for $3 billion. It's made two small aqua hire deals, if you will, buying people as opposed to products, buying a company called Swell, an audio startup that could help supplement the iTunes radio product, and also recently a company called Booklamp that has been described as the Pandora for books. So you know what? I wrote recently that Tim Cook isn't Steve Jobs, but deal with it. That's not a big problem for Wall Street right now.